Hey there, gamer dads. Welcome back to another exciting adventure in the world of Fallout 4 modding. Today, we're diving headfirst into the wasteland to explore some of the most incredible mods available. Whether you're a seasoned survivor or a vault dweller fresh out of cryosleep, these mods are guaranteed to take your Fallout 4 experience to the next level. So grab your pit boy, stock up on stim packs, and get ready to embark on a modding journey like no other. Trust me, your Fallout 4 experience is about to get a whole lot more interesting. Let's go, gamer dads. Attack of the Lobotomites by the Bone Zone team. Dive into the eerie world of Attack of the Lobotomites in Fallout 4. Explore the Braintree Mental Rehabilitation Center, now overrun by lobotomites, bionic zombies who have traded their organs for mechanical parts, losing their minds in the process. Your mission is to uncover the mystery of their presence and the dark secrets within the facility. This mod delivers a compelling quest, a challenging new dungeon, and a variety of unique enemies. Each section of the rehab center unveils a new horror, with lobotomites in tragic outfits wielding bizarre melee weapons. Beyond the gloom, the mod offers new gear and custom armors, which you can claim from your defeated foes. The boss battles each present a unique challenge and offer rewards that reflect their distinct themes. Attack of the Lobotomites will test both your combat skills and your moral compass as you confront the tragic transformations of your adversaries. Will you emerge with the coveted Proton Axe or Cosmic Knife Superheater? This mod isn't just a game addition, it's a gripping narrative. Ready to face the challenge? Check out the mod and bring the battle to your doorstep in Fallout 4. Forced Evolution by Rascal Art. In the sprawling wasteland of Fallout 4's Commonwealth, you might have felt a bit of deja vu battling super mutants. But fear not, gamer dads. The Forced Evolution mod is here to shake things up by adding new, diverse mutants into the mix. First off, meet the Super Mutant Elites. These hulking brutes come decked in armor and are equipped with a devastating plasma blaster, a weapon that's as chaotic as it sounds, capable of firing like a Gatling gun or exploding like a mini nuke. Then there are the Super Mutant Butchers, the crafty sorts behind those eerie meat bags scattered throughout the wasteland. Though smaller than a behemoth, they pack a serious punch. Not all mutants rely on brute force, though. Enter the Super Mutant Brainiacs. These mutants are a terrifying blend of FEV-induced mutation and raw psionic power. Hurling rubble with their minds and blasting you with radiation that'll have your health evaporating like morning fog. And for a touch of the absurd, Airborne Suiciders. Imagine a super mutant with a rocket strapped to its back, launching toward you in a gloriously fiery demise. On survival mode, they're your worst nightmare. On any other setting, they're an explosive spectacle you can't help but chuckle at. Lastly, the FEV rats scurry into the scene, a reminder of the sinister origins of these mutations. These new foes are sprinkled throughout existing super mutant haunts, ensuring that your next journey through the Commonwealth feels anything but stale. Unique Raider Gangs and Patrols by Precision Taco. Introducing Unique Raider Gangs and Patrols, a thrilling Fallout 4 mod that revitalizes the Commonwealth with four distinct Raider Gangs, each with their own territories, unique weapons, and armors. One, the Junk Legion, Spartan-inspired raiders skilled in melee with scrap metal armors and spears, dominating the eastern wilderness. Two, Kyan's Gang, a tactical group from a former military platoon, identifiable by cayenne-colored fatigues with rank symbols. Led by the charismatic Sa'an, they are formidable opponents. Three, the Rail Raiders. Controlling the railway tracks, these raiders, led by Spike Rail, pose dangers with deadly traps and miniguns. Four, the Sunflare Cult, nighttime hunters using flame weapons, adding a terrifying element to night explorations. Each gang patrols different Commonwealth areas, making encounters organic and unpredictable. Defeating these gangs offers challenging combat experiences and rewards with over 40 new armors and weapons. This mod is highly compatible and works seamlessly with popular mods like SS2, NPCs, Travel, and Raider Overhaul. It enriches Fallout 4's exploration and combat, 
making every journey through the Commonwealth a uniquely challenging adventure. N99C, custom 10 millimeter pistol by C, one PH3 RR. Are you tired of the same old 10 mm pistol in Fallout 4? Well, get ready to have your mind blown with the N99C mod. This sleek and compact custom pistol is about to make your wasteland adventures a whole lot cooler. With the N99C, you'll have a variety of customization options at your fingertips. Want to make it look like a classic 10 millimeter from the good old days? No problem. Prefer a winterized skin for those chilly Alaska missions? You got it. It's like playing dress up with your favorite sidearm. But the fun doesn't stop there. The N99C isn't just a pretty face. It's also integrated into the game's level list. That means you might stumble upon NPCs rocking this stylish old shooter as you explore the Commonwealth. It's like a fashion statement that says, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of gum. Of course, if you're a stickler for lore-friendly weapons, keep an eye out for mods by Degenerate DAC and the Commonwealth Story Expansion Project. They've been churning out some fantastic content that'll make you feel right at home in the Fallout universe. So why settle for the same old 10 millimeter when you can have the 99C? It's like upgrading from a rusty pipe pistol to a shiny new laser rifle, only way cooler. The Automatic Rifle by Degenerate DAC and CSF. Fallout 4's arsenal just got a whole lot more interesting with the latest weapon additions. First on the list is the Automatic Rifle, a bar-style powerhouse that combines high damage with some serious recoil. It's the perfect choice for those who like their weapons to have a bit of history behind them, even if that history involves a lot of spent casings and broken raider faces. Next up, we have the 38 Machine Pistol, a Mac 11-inspired sidearm that's as customizable as it is compact. With a wide array of attachments and some slick animations, this little beauty is perfect for those close quarters encounters. It's like having a pocket-sized bullet storm at your disposal. For those with a taste for the unconventional, the phone booth blaster is sure to satisfy. With custom models and textures, this unique weapon will have you feeling like a secret agent from a forgotten era. But the real excitement begins when you start hunting for the three unique variants hidden throughout the Wasteland. From a locked room in Hubris Comics to a raider-infested office building in Cambridge, these special finds are worth the extra effort. Just be sure to keep your wits about you while you're on the hunt. The Riot Pistol by Degenerate Back and CSF. Picture this. You're wandering through the wasteland, and suddenly, you find yourself face to face with a pack of pharaohs. You reach for your trusty sidearm, and what do you pull out? The Riot Pistol, a sleek, powerful little number that's about to make your day a whole lot better. This auto pistol fills a niche that the vanilla game sorely lacked, and it does so with style. Custom HD textures, models, and animations give the Riot Pistol a look and feel that's second to none, while the well-balanced placement in the level list makes it a joy to discover. But the real fun starts when you dive into the customization options. With over 40 brand new attachments to choose from, you can make your Riot Pistol truly your own. And let's not forget about the three unique variants scattered throughout the Commonwealth. From the South Boston PD to the shelves of Diamond City, these special finds are like the icing on the cake. So go ahead, embrace your inner 80s action hero, and let the Riot Pistol be your trusty sidekick on your journey through the wasteland. Grenade APW by Degenerate DAC and CSF. If you're craving something more explosive, the Grenade APW is here to satisfy your appetite for destruction. This semi-automatic grenade launcher offers a buffet of boom with a wide array of grenade types to choose from. It's perfect for those moments when you need to make a statement. And that statement is, I like my enemies extra crispy. But the Grenade APW is just one piece of the puzzle in the Commonwealth Weaponry expansion. This team has crafted a vast arsenal of lore-friendly weapon mods that integrate seamlessly into the game. From custom animations to extensive customization options, these weapons are designed to make you feel like the Wasteland's biggest badass. And for players who love a good treasure hunt, many of these weapons have unique variants scattered throughout the Commonwealth, each with its own special features. 
With so many weapons to choose from, it's hard to even scratch the surface of what this mod has to offer. But one thing's for sure, if you're looking to give your Fallout 4 experience a serious boost, the Commonwealth Weaponry expansion is the way to go. Get ready to take your adventures to the next level. Mutations by BP42S. Get ready to shake up your Fallout 4 experience with the Mutations mod, which brings all the crazy mutations from Fallout 76 straight into the Commonwealth. You'll stumble upon these game-changing abilities in static locations and through new vendors as you progress through the main story. Ever wanted to leap tall buildings in a single bound? The marsupial mutation has you covered, but be prepared to take a hit to your intelligence. Or maybe you'd rather become an unarmed powerhouse with the Talon's mutation, trading agility for raw punching power. These mutations essentially function as lore-friendly traits, adding an extra layer of depth to character building. And if you ever change your mind, just pop a rat away to cleanse yourself or make them permanent with special chems. The best part? The mod is so well implemented that it feels like a natural part of the game. Even if you don't plan on using mutations right away, having the option available is a fantastic addition to any load order. So why not spice up your next playthrough with a dash of mutation madness? With the mutations mod, you'll never look at Fallout 4 the same way again. Nuka Breaker and Rebar Club by Rata 4 v Fallout 4 New Vegas fans, rejoice! The team has just dropped a tasty morsel of content in the form of the Nuka Breaker and Rebar Club. These iconic weapons from the Mojave Wasteland are making their way to the Commonwealth, and they're bringing a whole host of customization options with them. Want to give your Rebar Club some extra oom? No problem! And if you're more of a Nuka Breaker fan, you'll be happy to know that you can tweak its appearance and bonuses to your liking. But here's where things get even more interesting. Even if you're not planning on wielding these weapons yourself, they'll be seamlessly integrated into the Super Mutant leveled lists. Imagine the terror of facing off against a hulking green brood armed with a rebar club. It's like a match made in post-apocalyptic heaven. These additions aren't just cosmetic, they're breathing new life into enemy encounters and making the world of Fallout fulfill that much more immersive. And if that wasn't enough, there's also whispers of a groundbreaking new fast travel alternative on the horizon. Could this be the mod that revolutionizes how we traverse the wasteland? Only time will tell. Survivalist's Bus by Pra and Eleonora. Get ready to hit the road with the Survivalist Bus a game-changing player home that's about to redefine your Fallout 4 experience. Found at the Lexington bus station, this isn't just any ordinary base, it's a fully-fledged mobile hideout on wheels. With ample storage space, built-in crafting tables, and a customizable interior workshop, the Survivalist bus has everything you need to thrive in the wasteland. But here's the kicker, this bus is a functional vehicle that you can actually drive around the Commonwealth. Charge it up with fusion cores, and as you discover new locations, your trusty driver will take you there for a cost of time and energy. Imagine the possibilities. Park your bus at various spots around the map, creating a network of mobile player homes. And with the handy bus remote, you can summon your ride while you're out adventuring, making it the ultimate survival companion. The Survivalist bus is loaded with customization options, from cosmetic changes to practical upgrades, offering a ton of functionality, perfect for any survival playthrough. So hop on board and get ready for a wild ride through a brand new Commonwealth. Looks Menu by Expired 6978. Get ready to revolutionize your Fallout 4 character creation experience with Looks Menu, a game-changing mod that takes customization to new heights. With a host of engine modifications, you'll have unprecedented control over your character's appearance, the expanded feature list allows you to see more items at once, while the ability to select facial features by name streamlines the process. Save and load presets to easily switch between different appearances or share your creations. Looks Menu supports CBB, body slide sliders, in-game. And the Body Gen feature randomly generates body shapes for NPCs, adding variety and realism to the world. Take customization to the next level by applying overlays over top of the existing body, overriding skin with another set of textures or mesh, 
and colorizing skin and makeup using HSV values. Please note that Looks Menu requires F4SC for game version 1.5.157 or greater. Elevate your Fallout 4 character creation experience with Looks Menu, the ultimate tool for crafting your perfect post-apocalyptic persona. Armor and Weapon Keywords Community Resource by Gambit, 77, Third Storm, Valdesil. Armor and Weapon Keywords Community Resource, NWKCR, is a must-have master file for Fallout 4 modders looking to create and modify armor and weapons while maintaining compatibility with other mods. This resource establishes a standardized framework that ensures seamless integration between various armor and weapon mods. AUKCR offers a range of benefits for both modders and players. It creates a consistent set of keywords for armor and weapon records, enabling dynamic naming mods and other tools to function smoothly. This standardization also extends to apparel slot usage, minimizing conflicts between mod authors, creations, and increasing interusability. AWS KCR introduces standardized armor, weapons, ammunition, and explosive workbenches for crafting items added by mods. These workbenches provide a centralized location for players to access crafting recipes from various mods, enhancing convenience and streamlining the crafting process. For weapon enthusiasts, AWKCR includes object modifications for blade weapons, allowing modders to recreate the popular blade tempering feature from Skyrim, opening up new possibilities for weapon customization by addressing Bethesda's inconsistent armor keywords and implementing a dynamic naming mechanism. AWKCR eliminates compatibility issues caused by simple rename mods, ensuring that mods can adjust stats, models, and slots without conflicting with each other, resulting in a more stable and enjoyable modding experience for players. Hey there, gamer dads. We've reached the end of our Fallout 4 modding adventure, but the possibilities are endless. The mods we've explored today are just a fraction of what's available. There's a whole wasteland of incredible mods waiting for you to discover. Remember, whether you're fighting off feral ghouls, building your perfect settlement, or wandering the Commonwealth in search of new adventures, it's all about having fun. Experiment with different mods, mix and match, and create your own unique Fallout 4 experience. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know which mod you're most excited to try out, or if you have any favorites we didn't mention. Have you checked out the new Fallout TV show? It's been generating a lot of buzz in the wasteland. Let us know what you think of it. To all our new subscribers, welcome to the Gamer Dads family. We're thrilled to have you join us on this journey through the world of gaming. Until next time, stay safe out there in the Commonwealth and keep on modding, Gamer Dads.